I am at least suggesting that it's based on emotion, and I hope it is. Because if you are not emotional in such a situation, you, it would be something wrong with you. Uh, and I am also certain that Ambassador uh, Walker has uh, reason to believe that the, what he saw was, or the, the statement that he made was correct. But it is very important to verify this. And that, of course, why we have said to, uh, that why we, had, uh, we have told Yugoslav authorities that we protested against their attitude of not cooperation when it came to the scene and when it came to the question of verification, when they would not let uh, Judge Louise Ar Arbor in, and when they have been problems with, with cooperation. I am, however, satisfied that they accepted the Finnish uh, forensic experts. I think that is important that they did that. And we will, of course, use them in this work so that we can have uh, full knowledge of what happened. I can understand the uh, the government in Belgrade's uh, uh, petulance with me. I guess is the way I would describe it. Uh, and it it, uh, it took me, uh, you know, through last night and into this morning to uh, to really become comfortable with the fact that I was now a uh, a frozen persona non grata. Uh, that having been said, and and this is something I want to say here in front of you all. I am, uh, you know, everybody likes to have a. Uh, a gladiator that goes into the ring for him and uh, tries to, uh, you know, fight off one's uh, one's uh, foes, perhaps. And, and this is very much what uh, the man to my right did, the chairman of the office of the OSCE did uh, last night up in Belgrade. And I am very, very appreciative of that. And I think everybody on the mission is extremely appreciative of the fact that he uh, he came down here today to uh, to tell us the results of that mi meeting. 